Day 85 solution. First thing I've done is loaded up my day 84 solution and forked it so that I can get working on here. Let's have a little reminder about how the day 84 solution works. We've got a bunch of different pages. We've got a sign up page so I can create an account. We have a login page so I can sign into an account. And let's see if I remember the username and password. Apparently not. <laughs> let's create an account. So I've adjusted the page very, very simply so that instead of just saying hello, it redirects them to a welcome page. This will show the main problem with this because whilst I've logged in, I've no way in that welcome page of accessing any information about the user. So let's create the app route for that page. So it gets to the page this time, which is great, but I can't get any unique identifying information from my user. So let's bring in session. Let's set a session key. And remember, it's always a good idea to use the secrets at this point. And a bunch of nonsense is always good. And the longer that key is, the more nonsense there is in there, the better. We will need to import OS. And we will need to set the secret key. But there we go. So with that in place, the sessions are set. If the user logs in successfully, I'll want to set the session to their username. So if they log in correctly, I'm going to want to set session logged in to their username. And again, this is only happening if their username and password are correct. We'll then go to the welcome page. That means I should be able to, if this works correctly, I should be able to pull out their username in the welcome page. So let's turn this into a well, into an F string. I'm going to go to the database. Actually, I'm going to use the three quotes trick because we're going to be putting some quotes in here in a minute. I'm going to go to the database and the key for the database is going to be session logged in. And we'll just leave it at that for now to see what actually happens. So we'll run it and we do need to go full screen now. So we log in and there we go. We logged in and we've got our dictionary value coming out. So I probably want to put the name rather than the full set of details. So we jump back out of there. And when we log in, we'll pull up the name. Stop it, restart it, bring it up full screen, log in again. And of course, what we're trying to avoid here is having this login screen here all the time. If I'm in there, well, it knows I'm there now, but if we're there, I should be able to just go straight to that page. Let's see if we can build that. Let's go the simple forward slash if session dot get logged in so we're basically saying here if i have managed to get a logged in value i actually swap that around and i need to say if not so if i can't get a logged in value then i'm going to return no that's wrong sorry right if they are logged in, I'm going to send them to the welcome page. So now if I pop this up, I should go straight to the welcome page, which is pretty cool. Now that bit of code can now be stuck in each of these. And in fact, even easier than that, I could make a subroutine for it. In fact, I can't make a subroutine for it because the redirect wouldn't work. So can't get to the sign up page if you're logged in. Can't get to the login page if you're logged in. The welcome page we're happy with slash login yeah they shouldn't be able to process it if they're logged in either should they really uh create user yep shouldn't be able to process it they're logged in so all those pages now have a little check so i can't go to these pages if i go to log in and i try to pull that one up i can't go there it takes me here because i'm logged in so let's build a logout button on the welcome page we'll add we'll add a button that allows us to log out. I think we're gonna send them to log out this time, just forward slash log out as a page. Let's check that button actually resolves first of all in the web, in the web view. There we go, we've got a button that does take us to log out. That page isn't found yet because we haven't written it. Let's write the log out page. We'll clear it and we'll send them back then to the main page. Try that. Ah, good, that works. There we go. Now, as long as I keep this browser open, 
I can keep going to that page and it remembers who I am. It doesn't bother me with login pages, it doesn't bother me with sign up pages, it kicks me to the welcome page every single time. And that's a big, massive benefit for me because my session is now persistent and consistent every time I go and visit the website, which is a big benefit. Thank you.